For 25 years as author and consultant, I have helped executives to reduce the impact of their corporations and to do so profitably. And based on this experience, I promise you that you can do the same. You can affect your organizations, all the companies you touch, your communities, and the planet by implementing three strategies to profitably reduce environmental waste. We are facing drought, contamination of water, air, streams. We're facing leaching toxicity from electronics waste. We're facing deforestation that's robbing our atmosphere of what it needs. And we're also facing pollution on the scale of continents and oceans. No matter what we do individually, we are not the CEOs of all the world's largest organizations whose effect on the planet is exponentially larger than our collective impact. These are examples of companies that you can influence, such as our clients. One is having programs throughout all facilities around the world that reduce use of water and electricity, saving literally millions of dollars a year and thousands of metric tons of CO2 emissions. Or the second example of automating processes, in this case, eliminating 35 feet of four-drawer file cabinets of paper so that customers get more responsive turnaround, employees are happier, and all of the waste and byproducts of the paper industry are reduced. Or in the last example, voluntary take back of products that customers no longer need, not only to reduce the electronic waste, but also to avoid having to buy new equipment for warranty replacements thus saving 350 metric tons of CO2 annually and a million dollars a year. If each of you can do more of this collectively, we can inspire the world's organizations to do the same. So the three S's of sustainability are first, save money by stopping buying all these unnecessary resources and processes. The second is sell more to the increasingly eco-educated corporate and consumer customers. That's what they want. And the final S is sweat less in the face of the burgeoning number of environmental regulations all over the world in all regions, which you well know. So right now what I'd like to do is tell you a number of stories about actual clients who have gotten on track, off track, and back on track with respect to their sustainability programs. But before I tell you these stories, I need to give you the flow of how to get a sustainability program written, approved, and executed. Now you have a robust five to 10 year sustainability roadmap that's been vetted by everyone and you're ready to present it to the CEO. You're going to have at least five to 10% savings in SG&A. You're gonna have at least one to 5% savings in cost of goods sold. What CEO wouldn't sign this document? What's missing is now that the goals have been set and approved from above, you need to get these goals in the individual's performance plans so that along with meeting all of their other requirements measured for their performance reviews, these sustainability goals with financial benefits now measured. Another example is a client of ours who is an environmental attorney but is also in the position of sustainability for his company. He was pushing a huge boulder uphill to try to get his senior executives to approve the sustainability program he created. But he was missing one of the S's of sustainability. He was missing sweat. One day, I think it was January 2nd, the CEO of his company read the paper. Right on the front page, his main competitor had just released amazing sustainability progress that was beyond regulations. Was that CEO sweating? You bet. He came in the office, talked to my client. Now the, bowl, the ball is rolling downhill. Here's a challenge I'd like to make to you. This year, 
I challenge you to put together at as many companies as you touch the seeds for sustainability programs. Start with your collaborators. Tell them, tell your peers, your managers, your executives about this presentation. Tell them that Pamela Gordon has proven that these three strategies for sustainability will get them on track and stay on track for profitable sustainability programs over the long run. And I wish you well on this critical mission. Thank you very much. Thank you.